Brothers and, sisters, my brothers and sisters, children of the light, as the Apostle Peter calls us in his epistle. I want to share something with you, and it's a very difficult video for me to make, and I'm, I'm actually very, very upset about it. Now, I live in South Africa. One of our big major banks, probably one of the two biggest banks in South Africa, is called EPSA. And, I, and I'm mentioning them because this is my experience with EPSA. I'm not singling them out for any reason. It's just I'm an EPSA client and my experience was with EPSA, so I cannot use another bank as an example. Um, today is Saturday. It's the, it is the 15th of March. Um, yes, two days back, um, the 13th of March was um, Ascension Day. Sadly, in South Africa, not a public holiday anymore. And what's strange to me, uh, and let me give, give you some background, uh, our population in South Africa, if, if you, and I'm going to roughly give you figures, we're about 70, 73% confessing Christians of all different denominations. Um, Catholic and all the Protestant and Orthodox denominations. About 70, 73%. Um, then um, the Muslim population in South Africa is about between 3 and 5%. It's a very small group. I think they're probably the smallest re religious group. And obviously there's Hindus and Buddhists and, 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 and then atheists. And I'm sure there's, there's small little other religions. Um, now, on Thursday, it was Ascension Day. My bank, EPSA, with whom I've been since I was 18 and I'm 50, 32 years, they didn't send me an SMS on, uh, on Ascension Day saying, Happy and Wonderful Ascension Day. Nothing was placed on APSA's Facebook account on Thursday. I specifically checked about Ascension Day, the Christian holiday. And there's four major Christian holidays. The four most important ones are Christmas, uh, Easter, Ascension Day and Pentecost. There's many others depending on, on which denomination, but these are the four major ones. Um, nothing was said. Yet on Friday, in a country with 70 plus percent Christians and 3 to 5 percent Muslims, on Friday, APSA sent out a message, I presume to all, I presume, to all their clients, because I got it, and I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not part of their Muslim banking um, client group, sent out, and I presume to all their clients, because I got it, a message by about eight Mubarak, something like that. Don't even know the feast, and <laughs> not really interested about it, anything about it. But send out a message about a Muslim feast. Now I have to sit back and think in a country where there are 20 times more Christians than Muslims. And a big commercial bank will ignore Ascension Day. Oh, and there was also a Facebook posting on their Facebook, APSA's Facebook, about this, this specific uh, Muslim feast. In a country where there's 20 times more Christians than, than Muslims, they would send out a general SMS on the Muslim feast day, but nothing on the, on the Ascension Day that preceded it. Again, in a country which has 20 times more Christians than Muslims. Then I have to sit back. I was incredibly upset and annoyed. I don't want to get messages from my financial institution about other feast days of other religions. I'm not interested. I'm a devout Christian. I'm not interested in getting SMSs from a financial institution, not a religious institution, not a social institution, a financial institution, as far as I'm concerned, should set out only a correspondence regarding finances. But they will send it out about a, a, a certain f a feast day of another religion, but my feast days of my religion, which I'm in a far majority in this country, uh, is not sent out. That was the day before. Now, I wonder, if I sit back and I objectively think, I can't help but ask the following question. I'm not stating a fact. I'm not accusing APSA of the following. I'm asking a simple question. If is religion A 
which is practiced by 70 to 75 percent feast day on the Thursday is ignored. But religion B, who has 3 to 5 percent people, on the Friday it's sent to everybody to congratulate them on this feast day. Is APSA Bank busy with propaganda for a specific religion? I think that's a logic question to ask. Is a financial institution busy with propaganda for a specific institution, for a specific religion? For if they say, no, 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 we just, we just want to be kind to our clients and celebrate their and just have that sentiment on their religious feast days to reach out to them with a the SMS, then I want to know why they send for a Muslim feast to all Christians as well. But on a Christian feast day, they don't send anything. Are they busy with propaganda? I think it's a fair question. Is this part of this worldwide Western, woke, enlightened, liberal movement that, that inclusivity of every other thing, or every other religion is more important than actually the religion of the majority of people in that country? Um, is APSA busy with propaganda? Isn't that a fair question to ask? And you know what's probably the most upsetting? I actually found APSA and I lay a complaint with their complaint division. I don't want to receive SMSs about other, other religions' feasts. I'm not interested. As I'm sure, as I'm sure a Muslim doesn't want to receive a Happy Christmas SMS. Um, so now, what's even more upsetting is I think 99% of Christians in this country don't, didn't even click. Probably got this SMS on their phone, Christians that's with APSA, and didn't even click that this isn't very kosher. Yeah. Reason, reason for concern, isn't it? And I think most Christians are fast asleep. Sad. Please, APSA, stop sending me SMSs regarding other people's religions. I'm not interested. Please go to my website, glitterforchrist.co.za, link to my YouTube channel. Please follow many Christian teachings on there. And it's my one true benediction of the one true living God, the Holy Trinity, will richly bless you.